Hey y'all, this is Bobby, or Homespun, or Nanny, whatever you want to call me. You're not going to hurt my feelings if you decide to call me somebody else besides, uh, I don't know. Anyway, I am sitting here thinking about Reborn Blogger. Hold on, I'm going to turn this fan down a little bit. I'm thinking about Sam's Reborn. I'm thinking about um, Bell's Reborn. And I'm thinking about Reborn Blogger. I just received a, um, a little, uh, I don't know, what do you want to call it, a message. Uh, it was a highlighted message um, on my uh, little notification to Flotchy on my YouTube video. And I went ahead and just made a copy of it just for myself. Um, and I posted it to privately just to me so I can look at it. First of all, let me say this. Okay, starting out on a fair and positive note. Reborn blogger. I am sorry if I was uninformed regarding your issue where you have difficulty um, communicating your thoughts um, verbally, I guess, due to an issue that you have, um, OCD or ACD or ABC or, you know, I'm not making fun of you. I'm not making fun of you. I just don't want to have to go back and reread the comment. I did not realize that you had an issue, um, whatever it may be, regarding uh, your ability to speak with you saying a lot of ums and you know and having a lot of pauses in your conversation, okay? Taking, you know, 15 minutes to say one sentence versus what someone else could say in, you know, two minutes. And I'm not mocking you, okay? Reborn blogger, listen to me. I am not mocking you. I want to lend a sincere apology for making that comment in my, some of my comments in the past on your videos, okay? I, I want to apologize for that because I am a firm believer in supporting anyone that I personally come in contact with, whether it be on the internet or out in the grocery store or at Walmart or wherever I may be at the park. I respect anyone who um, is dealing with a any kind of a disability, whether it's a physical, mental, emotional, whatever, okay? I'm about the most sympathetic person you could ever imagine. I do not believe in making fun of anyone even if their issue is just being overweight or they have diabetes, I don't care. Any kind of physical, mental, emotional ailment that anyone is having to deal with, I'm very sympathetic. So I do want to apologize uh, for that comment. Okay, and that being said, um, it was mentioned that I was stirring the pot. And I have used that term in discussing this drama that's going on and I guess because I'm new on the block I'm not allowed to put my two cents in there because I'm new on the block and I haven't been doing videos for very long I'm not entitled to my opinion or my I'm not entitled to inject my thoughts regarding what's going on with Sam and and Bell's Reborn but the thing is when I stepped onto this platform with the YouTube thing I've made some YouTube videos in the past. I have another channel that I uh, did some videos. And at the time I was interested in, believe it or not, wigs. And I did several videos about um, some wigs that I had purchased. Um, and gave some, you know, good points, bad points, whatever, you know, you want to call it. But um, now I've started this one because now my interest, I still have my wigs, but I'm interested very much in my reforms and my... And I'm at a place in my life where I want to share, you know, some of the things that 
I, I am going through in my life and things that I have gone through and not necessarily bad things I want to share my life I want to share I want to make friends via YouTube um, and it's okay if you want to criticize me maybe you don't agree you don't have to agree with me to, honestly you don't um, to be my friend you know to be my contact on my YouTube channel let me just emphasize that um, but I am I'm very sympathetic in that if I feel that someone is truly being bullied or I mean even when I was a kid even when I was a kid I used to be I used to be very I used to feel very very sad and heartbroken when people would make fun of other people even in elementary school if they had a special need of some sort and they were different for some reason maybe um, someone had special needs um, you know that maybe they had Down syndrome or maybe they they uh, you know I don't even know the political terms anymore because I don't want to say someone has Down syndrome I just want to say that person you know has a, a special need and and I've never made fun of people like that if nothing else I've always migrated I can remember sitting on the playground in elementary school um, sitting next to a little girl who had no friends and I wish now when I think back on it that I had been more consistent with it but I can remember sitting with her and talking to her and and trying to be kind to her um, I think she she not only was special needs but she has some kind of a skin condition that was not very appealing to the eye but I felt sorry for her because she would come into the cafeteria and all the kids would look at her and you could tell that they would turn their noses up and they would make grimacing faces and and maybe I'm just trying to pat myself on the back here I, I I'm not trying to make you think that I have a halo and angel wings but I mean I used to just feel so bad and so I do remember sitting out on the playground with this little girl and just trying to chat with her communicate with her in the best way I don't remember her saying a lot but I do remember her having a smile on her face and I just tried to be nice I mean you know how hard is it to be nice um, I never liked it when people would make fun of other people or pick on other people um, I would put a stop to it in my own childish ignorant way I would ruin the fun they said because I would step in and you know intervene on behalf of the person that was being teased so I am not that type of person so all of that being said okay my natural instinct okay when I got online and I did my channel and I started absorbing you know um, or watching some of these channels I happened upon Sam and Jen and of course Jen was I think I, I listened to Sam first and then I went to Jen and of course when I came on it was the heat of the battle with all of this drama with you know reborn blogger and this um, child thing and you know DSS and all this kind of stuff you know all of that was happening so naturally being committed to listening to Jen and listening to Sam and I'm starting to acquire some other um, I'm starting to to subscribe to other channels now um, not just them but I started out with them so I got into that realm and, and in all fairness reborn blogger this is directed to you in, in some respects okay and I am not trying to be ugly but in all fairness I went to your page and I listened very carefully with regards to um, all this mess that's going on okay I don't quite understand where it all started as far as the whys and the wherefores that all of this started um, like you know what ignite what was the first spark that that transpired I just know I listened to you I listened to Sam and I listened to Jen and I'm sorry but if I felt that there was a genuine truthfulness to Sam and Jen I, I don't think that their goal and their desire is to have to constantly address drama I mean that's I don't know that's the impression I got and evidently Jen just starting out some things were said and and done against her first and in retrospect she came back on and wanted to defend her position and I listened very acutely 
to her and I listened to Sam, of course, because Sam's her best friend and vice versa. And I wanted to find out, well, you know, because I'm going to tell you right now, Reborn Blotter, you poor sweet little thing you, I don't dislike you. I, I, I don't dislike you. And maybe I'm misinformed and my heart aches right now because I don't, I saw a video the other day of someone making fun of all three of y'all, Sam, Jen, and you, Reborn Blogger. And I can see where there would be some comedy to it, but it was still a little bit spiteful regarding you three. And I just thought, you know, that's, it's not very sympathetic at all to either one of y'all. You know, I, I don't think that I would want to make fun of you. And if I, and maybe I have come off a little harsh. Maybe I have come off a little unkind to you, Reborn Blogger. And I do want to tell you that I'm sorry for that. But I am not sorry for the fact that I feel that Jen and Sam are being picked on. I'm not saying they have never said anything against you. I, I you know, and maybe in their defense and maybe in their stand, perhaps they have said something that came off, you know, kind of distasteful. Um, I think in looking back at videos, especially when you don't, um, you know, I don't really know how to edit things yet. I'm still new at all this, so, you know, please excuse my ignorance, but I'm going to say something that is not going to sound quite right. And maybe the meaning or the comprehension of that sentence is going to come off in a way that is not what I really meant. You know, we, we all express ourselves in different ways, you know, depending on where we're from and who you know, how we were raised and, and all that. Um, I just, you know, and I've actually sat down and listened to some of my videos and went ahead and posted them, but I thought, well, that didn't quite sound right. Uh, I wonder if I should go back in and try to rectify that in another video. Because like I said, I don't know how to clip and save and cut and do all that yet. Maybe one of these days I'll, I'll get to that place in my life. But, uh, by the way, let me just say, this is Landon, uh, Pam's Reborn Nursery. This is one of my first Reborns I ever purchased from her. He is absolutely adorable. He's a bit chunky, considering he's, his head is so small. His little hands and legs are small. He's very wobbly, but I want y'all to see that beautiful hair. Look at that. Is he not adorable? He has a twin. Sam, uh, Sam. Ah, blah, 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 blah. Um, Pam's Reborn Nursery and her sister, um, they're twins. And so I actually bought him from Pam's Reborn Nursery first, Pamela Bohona. And then later, 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 I got the twin that Pam's sister uh, made. So I have a set of twins made by a set of twins. So anywho, but back to what I was saying, and he's... Actually, I've had him several years now, but um, I just feel that I'm not stirring the pot. I, I have to disagree with you on that, Reborn Blogger, because um, this is what I came in on. And, and I don't want to add, you know, fuel to the fire, but it's like there's no cessation of this situation. It just keeps going on and on and on and on, and it's like, you know, there's conditions, well, if you do this, I'll do that, you know, and la di da di da I just feel like that if it's just completely shut down, whether, you know, you can't always prove who's right, who's wrong, she said, he said, they said, you know, because for as many stars in the sky, so to speak, there's as many voices out there that are going to lend their own perspective on the situation and everybody has a different perspective okay we can all look at the same thing but we can detail in our minds and hearts a whole different interpretation of that situation so you know it's just never going to end you know and i feel like it, it needs to just stop just move on and and, and reborn blogger i made the comment when i um made my uh submitted my comment to you on your last video that you 
we're doing the timeline thing. I said, you know, I don't know. I just feel like that there was a little bit of a frenzied attitude there. Like you were really trying hard to pick up all the broken pieces and, and trying to, to quickly be the first one, you know, to, to, to get all the broken pieces and piece it together as fast and as quickly as you could for a disclaimer and for um, evidence, you know, in the event that this thing, you know, goes, gets really, really out of hand and becomes a major legal, legal issue. I just don't see it becoming as legal as everyone is commenting on because it takes time and money. A lot of people don't have either, okay, to be messing around with this kind of stuff. These are, you know, there's going to be times people are going to infringe on your privacy. They're going to say and do things that's going to, you know, rub you wrong. But um, going back to stirring the pot, I, I, you know, this is what I came in on. And I feel like that I, I gave my opinion on what I thought. You know, everybody else is going in and throwing in their two cents. Is there some reason why I'm not allowed to, to throw in my two cents? Especially seeing that I, I'm supporting um, Jen. I'm supporting Sam. Um, I'm trying to give them thumbs up as much as possible um, when I remember. Especially the older videos. Because, you know, I haven't watched every single video that Jen's put out. Not, and the same with Sam. I haven't, And same with you, Reborn Blogger. I haven't watched all your videos either. But, oh, I know what I was saying. Back to the comment that I made, I, I was like, it's so sad that all of this is going on. There's this frenzy of activity. Well, let me hurry up and get all this information and put it out there before she gets some information and puts it out there. And I'm going to beat her to the draw, you know, and I'm going to get her to get to the finish line before her. And, you know, it's like a race to he, to he who runs the fastest and has the most threat. And, and, and like I said, from what I can see, you know, Sam, you know, has had a flotation of emotion going up and down with her distress and then come to terms with the, the fact that, you know, I'm done with this. Uh, uh, you know, Belle's done the same thing. Belle's reborn. Um, Janice done the same thing. She's frustrated and she's angry. Um, but she still did not threaten to the point where... Well, I'm going to go to the law about this, or I'm going to this, or I'm going to that. Because it, her threat was based on the rules of YouTube. You know, let's keep it within that spectrum. And it's gone way beyond that. And Jen and Sam are not the ones that stepped out of that circle. They're not the ones that stepped out of that circle. Um, but I did say, back to my comment, I know I'm wandering all over the place, but I just wanted to sit down and do this. And by the way, today is Friday looking forward to the weekend but listen this the comment I made I also said and I and I'm not stirring the pot okay I also ended on a very positive note in that I said wouldn't it be nice if, if, if reborn blogger and anyone else that's involved in this you know and that would include me okay let's just focus on the positives I said to you I would love to hear your story, Reborn Blogger, about how you got started with Reborns. I would love to hear your story about your babies. Did you make your babies? Did you buy your babies? What are you, how many babies do you have? If you only have one, it's okay. There's no peer pressure here to have 20 babies. There's no peer pressure here to have top-notch $1,000 babies. Let's just talk reborns and and you know and my channel is not just about reborns I, you know my channel is about my little corner of the world and it could involve my grandkids my dog my housework my husband uh any job i might acquire any kind of pet peeve i have plus reborns and my crafts and whatever it's about me this is the only place in the world i can be selfish you know, I try to be cognizant. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. If nothing else, I try my best to be as kind as I can be. And and I have to admit, I have let myself slip some with some of my comments. Because I, I really love Bells Reborn. I love Sam. I love, you know, 
uh, Mama Cass is reborn. Um, I started to get to know her. There's several others I'm starting to really enjoy. And some of them don't have YouTube channels per se, but they're, they, they're following me and they're um, subscribed to me. And, and that means the world to me. I just want to make friends. I just want to have a voice in this chaotic, crazy world. You know, I want to talk about God. I want to talk about my kids. I want to talk about my grandbabies. I want to talk about my pet peeves. And I would like to hear your story, Reborn Blogger, and I would love to send you some happy mail. If you truly, I don't doubt that you have cancer, and I'm not going to even dwell on that, okay? Life is short. I just had to deal with a very life-changing situation that I, uh, I went to a funeral on um, Wednesday. No, I'm sorry. Yes. Wednesday. And there was a lot involved with just, not just with someone I know that passed away, but there, there, there was a lot of history there, a lot, a lot, a lot of tears and heartache and joy all at the same time, okay? And it, 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 and I'm still trying to put the pieces together in my mind and in my heart, but I do know it's made a major change. And it's a gradual change in one area and it's a quick change in other areas okay so leaving it at that I'll tell that story one day maybe I don't know if it'll make any sense to anybody but life is short and I would love to send you some happy mail I would love to send you one of my cute little duplotches here for your hair that's coming in that you you, you know I mean, I don't know what the deal is about the hair. I don't know what the deal is about fake cancer, real cancer. I, you know, I don't care about that. I mean, I don't. If if that is if there is some um, falseness involved in that, that's sad. Very, very sad. Um, but if, if there's truth behind it, I want to support the cause. I will send you some happy mail because I'm a giver. I love giving. I'll make you some poo-poo flops even. I just want you to know I don't want to be your enemy. I don't want to put a bad taste in your mouth. But I also want to be able to express myself and say, this is what I see. This is what I witnessed. I see that there's just, you know, too much redundancy. You know, I mean, it just goes on and on. It's like every video contains all this negative energy and it's and it's not just you because like right now I feel like this video is a little bit negative but I am trying to be positive at the same time I just you know I'm sorry that you feel you know I'm not making fun of you okay I'm really not but it just seems like people are saying all these terrible things about Sam and especially about uh, Jen and like Jen had to get online and she had to share her story like put put like she had to take a piece of her past that was very sensitive and very um, you know it was a, a dark time in her life and she had to bring that to the forefront to lend credibility to the fact that you know well if you're gonna get online and you're gonna talk about me well let me let me let me just set the record straight here you know I'm going to come out with the truth of this dark time in my life because I want to protect my heart I'm gonna go ahead and throw it out there and she shouldn't have to do, she shouldn't have had to do that although I, I appreciate that she did and I loved her all the more for getting to know that that inner part of her life you know that that part that is tucked away that created a lot of heartache for her you know she didn't have to share all that. And and honestly, uh, I mean, if she wants to be um, open and honest and she wants to bring to the forefront something that, you know, is very painful, um, I'm not going to push it off as irrelevant either. I'm going to say, well, thank you for feeling safe enough and honest enough to share this with me. This means a lot to me. I didn't detect any untruth in what she was saying and then you know I, I if nothing else like I said disclosure in my mind especially if it's honest and it's it's sincere is gonna make me love you even 
more because you have pulled back the covers and you're sharing a part of yourself for the whole world to see. I mean, I just, she didn't have to do that. Just like she didn't have to invite us into her home and for someone to make a nasty comment about her housekeeping skills or whatever. I, you know, I don't, I don't know. I just feel like all this, this is crazy. It just needs to stop. I mean, is there not something else we could maybe focus on that's just as interesting? I mean, if we want to make drama, let's do pretend drama. Or let's do drama based on the silliness of what we encounter in our daily lives. Like when I had to download my Filmora and, 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 oh my God, it was like you had to be a rocket scientist to get it all in line and make it happen. And I still haven't made it happen. And it's supposed to be a user-friendly, you know, program. And it involved all these codes I had to download the program and then in order to make it happen I had to go back in and receive via email this special code and then when I tried to use the code it wouldn't activate so I had to go back in and then come to find out I purchased the wrong kind of program that I was wanting to use and um, I had to get a refund but couldn't get a refund until I bought the correct program that I wanted and then I had to Go back in and say, hey, you know, I've reordered the correct program like you told me to get my money back. So when am I going to get my money back for the other program that I bought with the other codes that I had to put in to find out that I ordered the wrong program? Okay, it's mind-boggling. Life is mind-boggling. I think there's plenty of fodder for the fuel to focus on to make videos without having to slice and dice each other all the time. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm talking out of my mind. I say that every time I, I get on here. I need to lend credibility to my own thoughts and support my own thoughts myself. You know, I have a hard time being positive about myself, let alone worrying about everybody else and trying to be, you know, negative against them. What? I don't know. I just, it's 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 sad. And, and, and Reborn Blogger, like I said, I... I'm not your enemy. I don't want to be your enemy. I want to be your friend. I do. I want to be your friend. But I'm sorry if I happen to believe that Jen and Sam are sincere. And they're, I just have fallen in love. But you know what? I, I'm, a, I, I'm not a people person when it comes to having a million and one friends. I'm just not that way. I'm kind of private and I kind of am selfish. Because you might come knocking on my door and I'm going to the... I'm going doing my, my constitution for the day on the potty. I mean, I don't appreciate that. I don't want to be bothered when I'm doing my daily business, you know, on the potty. Because you decided at the last minute you want to come see me and say hi. Maybe I don't feel like being bothered. Or maybe, you know, I'm looking like, which most of the time I wear really raggy clothes around the house. And then maybe I didn't clean that day or maybe I'm just being miserable for whatever reason. And and I just don't want to be bothered, you know. And and the price I pay for that is that when there are times when I wish I had someone, you know, that they're not around. I mean, I don't make anybody feel unwelcome, but I'm just not a people person. But I am a people person when it comes to being online and communicating with people online, my YouTube, my Facebook. I, I don't know something too about this Facebook business and everybody here. What are you uh, in the doghouse because you have a Facebook page? What if you started out with Facebook and not YouTube? Somehow you're not as as brilliant or as bright or as 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 interesting or is there some kind of flaw involved with having been on Facebook first and then jumping onto YouTube? But I mean, what is there is there a problem with that? I, I, I don't know. I'm I don't know who I say say in style. I don't know. What, what's the deal? But, uh, you know, I've been on Facebook. I have a Facebook page. I have a blogger page. And I have my YouTube channel. And I'm, in particular, surprisingly, as much as I like to write, I really enjoy my YouTube channel because I just get my thoughts out. And you get to know the real me with my facial expression. You know, I, I don't mind that people do videos where, you know, you don't have to see their face. But, don't do it all the time in my book because I want to get to know you. I want to see your sweet face, reborn blogger. 
I do. And Sam, you and your mom, and or not uh, not Sam, I'm sorry, uh, Belle and your mom, your last outing that you had, I felt so excited to be able to <laughs> go with you to the store, to the $5 store. That's my kind of store now. Next time you go, come get me. And uh, which we have a $5 store in New Bern, and I keep telling grandbabies as soon as I get my check, we're going to go up there and spend some money. And, and I have been promising, and I know when they get there, they're going to have a blast, including my daughter, because she's never been to a $5 store. So we're not as uh, cultured here in North Carolina, in my area anyway. So we have the Dollar Tree, and we have, you know, little things like that, but um, there's still a lot that we don't have. And if we do want to go somewhere, we have to drive like a 40-minute drive, which is, like I said, we got to go to New Bern to go to the $5 store. So I wish we had one down here. That would be really awesome because I'd be going in there all the time. But I tell you what, this is off the subject, but we're getting ready to have a, a pause through store open up. Like where I'm at, where I'm sitting right now, I can look out my window and just keep going straight until I hit the next section of highway. This is Highway 24, and I'm on, well, I'm on 24, but then if you look through the woods, and you hit 70, and just right there through the woods and a few houses and some car dealership places and whatnot, there's going to be a new Paul's thrift store, which is deadly, because I'd be going in there every day. You hear me? Every day. I may not have a lot of money to spend each time I go, but I will definitely be going. And I'll be volunteering some of my time in there because I do support the animals if I have time. Because at this point in the game, I don't know how much time I'm going to really have. So, let me get back on subject. But anyway, I know I'm just going on and on and on like it's nobody's business. But um, I just... I... I, I did not mean to hurt your feelings, Reborn Blogger. And I, I know I keep putting your name out there, but that's because, you know, when I saw your comment, it just kind of, I was a little stunned. Um, But, you know, I'm sensitive. So I'm a sensitive person really deep inside. I may seem like I'm forthright and I'm, you know, strong, strong woman, you know, but I do care what people think and what they say when it comes to my input and such. But I do have the right to express how I feel wrong or right and personally I think that's one of the big dilemmas that we're we encounter in general is we're always having to either be on the right side or the wrong side and and sometimes no matter how hard you try as I had said in a previous video just like a marriage there are times when I'm in the right and my husband is like in the wrong but there are times when I have to bring it down a couple notches and just go with the flow and let him learn the hard way that I was right without having to bring into play all the reasons why I'm right and to argue the point and argue the point to the point of exhaustion. Sometimes you just don't have to prove anything. Just be. It is what it is, and it's going to come up. It's going to come to the forefront. It's going to come to the surface, and it's going to reveal itself, and it's going to, people are going to see things for what they really are, and you may not be completely 100% in, 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 in the wrong, and, and Sam and Jen may not be completely 100% in the right, but can't we just come to a balance? But, you know, I, I hate to say it, Men are just as bad as women anymore, but women, they can be so catty and so ugly and so judgmental sometimes. Why? Why are we like that? Including myself. I have to smack myself upside the head many times because I have preconceived notions and I stand to be corrected. And I feel quite ashamed many, many times. Because then I go back and think, why did I even have to go through that? I ought to know better. I'm a big grown woman. I'm grown. I may not act my age. I may not act like I'm 62. I may not look like I'm 62, which a lot of times I feel like I do look like I'm 62. But I'm grown. But there are so many times when I can be so dang juvenile. It's pitiful. Just flat out pitiful. And I stand to be corrected. And I have to apologize. And I have to rethink. 
and rewind and rechannel and then reinsert somewhere in my heart and my brain and come up with a whole different conclusion or a whole different judgment call in my mind, you know? So, you know, there's a saying that, um, and I like to, I don't quote it exactly correctly, but I do enjoy the, you know, the saying that brings across the thought in a nutshell, so to speak, is that it's better to be quiet and be thought a fool than to open one's mouth and remove all doubt. Sometimes the best thing to do is to not do anything. I'm not saying that fits in every scenario now because I'd be the first one to run to your defense. I'd be the first one even if you are the meanest person on God's given earth. As far as just being mean, not not a murderer person who kills animals and kids and all that. I'm talking about just normal, cantankerous, you know, whatever. I would be coming to your rescue if I feel like that you're being treated unjustly in any kind of way. And it gets me in trouble all the time. But that's just me. So closing with that thought, it's best to keep that lower half shut at times, not always, speak your peace, if it's called for, you know, if the situation calls for, because you don't want to be thought, you can be thought a fool for not saying anything, but if you open your mouth and remove all doubt, well, that's a whole different bag of beans, and they stink, they're going to call some stink, okay, I don't know about you, but you eat a bunch of beans, you're going to stink. Okay? So be nice. I love y'all. I want to thank you so much for being a part of my life. It means the world to me. Now i got to get back to my housework. i got to vacuum the floor. i got to mop this kitchen floor. I've been painting this kitchen floor white. Let me show y'all real quick and i got to go. Yes, i got to go. See that? I've been painting it and this is like going to be my third coat. But I also found some stuff that I'm going to put over top of it to keep the, the white from being stuffed and showing every little detail of dirt or smudges or, you know, shoe marks and all that. And, of course, this cabinet door is still off. It is painted, and, but I'm getting ready to do all the trim in the kitchen. So i got a lot to do. i got things to do. i got places to go. Okay? I love you guys. You have a nice day, okay? God bless.